hello guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are so for today's video as you can see from the title is how to roam rome in three days here we had the chance to go for three days to rome i cannot tell you how much i enjoyed it and how much i loved it so i'll share with you what i've learned through my trip so we arrived around midnight from London to Rome. We were a little bit anxious about how to get to our Airbnb. However, there were so many taxis, there was an ATM outside. So even if we didn't have any cash, there was an ATM outside that we could use at the airport. And it cost us about 25 euros per person. And we got to our location within 20 minutes and it was fantastic. In terms of check-in, our first location, because we were just gonna stay there for one night it's somewhere that allowed checking in late and not in person we managed to find one place but it wasn't to be honest the best place it was more for convenience for us whereas the next place that we stayed that was more what we wanted and it was a face-to-face check-in so we had to do two airbnbs to our airbnb and let me tell you guys it's gorgeous i'm gonna show you around this is more in the city this is by the castel D'Angelo, I want to say that's how you pronounce it, but probably not, probably I'm butchering the name. This place is beautiful, it has its own character, it almost has a Parisian feel to it, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> we were so keen we wanted to see as much as possible as we could so we literally just from our airbnb set to walk to the trevi fountain and we thought throughout the walk we'll see so many things so neither of us have been to italy before or rome so we were so keen we just wanted to walk so make sure you wear your good trainers if you're going to do that as well first stop was trevi fountain now we went there about midday rookie mistake it was so busy incredibly busy that you can't even get your step in you can't even have a look it's just so crowded and as i mentioned it was so warm and so hot it was not bearable so we kept moving we found ourselves walking towards the Spanish steps as they were not far away at all. We took some pictures, we had a little browse around just to see what was going on and then we continued on walking until we found ourselves in Piazza Navona. <music> do realize in Italy is that there are so many restaurants that once that's open between lunchtime usually that's for tur tourists and also to stay away from the um, attraction sites so many people trying to grab your attention and um, to have their food so this place right here it was called boss um, and it had quite a few people already sitting outside and it looks very busy so um, wasn't expecting much they said would you like to come in so we did go in and oh my god when I tell you the interior of this restaurant it had a secret garden at the back and it was stunning it was beautiful and um, i would definitely recommend it i would go again myself because not only it was beautiful to look at the food was unreal and it was perfect for our first day In the afternoon, we decided to go to Trastevere district. 
Now, this place right here is the heart of, I believe, Rome. So they have live music, great bars, great restaurants, little antiques, little shops. It's gorgeous. And around sunset, it's the most beautiful time to go because you can have a drink while deciding where to go for food. What I've noticed also is that most restaurants don't take any booking. So you will see a lot of queues. The longer the queue, the better the food, I would say in my humble opinion. again some nice arancini of course some pasta and some pizza because we love it and we're just you know trying authentic italian food Now, in terms of transportation, it, we were worried about how we're going to get ourselves around in Italy. However, it's so easy. You got your metro as well as buses. What we managed to get is on the train station nearby, we've got 72 hour tickets and they have, of course, more. They have a single one, they have one for a week or more. So we got 72 hours because we we're only there for three days and it was fantastic. It cost us, I want to say, about... I want to say between 20 euros to 30 euros i can't remember but we were walking around we were out all day so it was really needed only thing that i would say that whenever you got your ticket you have to validate it even on buses otherwise you will get a fine and in terms of getting ourselves around and which buses we're going to get on and everything of the sort i actually used google maps i've never used it in the past until this trip right here it tells you the train it tells you the buses numbers it tells you the route it tells you how busy it is and it's perfect so if you've never been before like ourselves make sure you use that today we are day two we're gonna go and explore the vatican city as well as other places that we haven't seen yet so i'm excited Fit check. Again, there's so many queues. Unfortunately, we did not get in. However, I read afterwards that you can use, you can buy the skip the queues tickets, which we didn't do. We we just looked at the queues and we were like, we're not doing that. We're not waiting in this heat wave for that long. It was about 30 degrees or more, just to put it into perspective, because I talk about it a lot, but it was really hot. If I were to go to Italy again, I'll probably go in October and allow me to do more and be comfortable in my skin. also recommend is that when you're in Rome have for lunch have one of their subs so amazing so tasty full of flavors and it's just authentic Italian food again now for our second night in what we decided to do again is to go to Trastevere district because we loved it so much we loved the live music it was there again however what caught our attention is this restaurant it has the most massive queue that we've seen in all the district and we we're like we have to try it the queue was about I want to say 30 minutes however there was a bar nearby we just went got some drinks and we were drinking while we were waiting for our turn so this restaurant is called Nanarella. it was rated 4.9 stars on google maps again incredible so we definitely needed to try it we went for dishes that we haven't had before so we went for um, artichokes we went for meatballs and of course we definitely gone for aperol because we're in italy we have to try aperol 
and I know I mentioned the live music a lot but when I tell you it was one of the happiest place and one of the happiest moments I've felt um, in a while at that time you can just see that everyone is out and about and bear in mind this was around around COVID time where people are coming out of it slowly so it was brilliant to see how people are coming along they're, they're dancing on the street they're singing they're drinking it was just a beautiful to see <laughs> Strawberry Fountain was so busy, unbearable busy that you can't even have a look. We decided to go again but this time we woke up around 7 o'clock or I want to say 6.30 to just get in there for 7.30 and it was not too busy, it was a little bit better. You can get in, take some pictures, actually sit down and have a look at those cute little cafes nearby so you can sit there where it wasn't busy and actually enjoy that moment. A lot of people know of this trick and um, thanks to TikTok so I think you've just got to play it by ear. across this place called Chakizano, I believe that's how you pronounce it and it is a little bit of bread that looks like this, smells like that and then you can fill it with so many random goodness and it was amazing. The franchise, so they're all over Rome and it's unbelievable. If you get the chance, you can try it with a little bit of afro, it's fantastic. In the next slide, what I've done is just a quick plan for the three days that you are in Rome and what you can see in order based on their location and how far they are from each other. So if you want to pause and take a screenshot, feel free to do so. Mm -hmm. 